During my trip to Cape Town, visiting the renowned penguin colony at Boulders Beach was one of the top priorities. My guide drove me to the site, pulling into a secluded parking area. From there, we walked down a seemingly unknown road, offering no hint of what was to come. After about 100 yards, a sign finally indicated Boulders Beach, and then another sign. Inside the entrance, I purchased my ticket on a credit card. The cash payment was rejected. Okay. Thank you. After I entered the complex, I passed by informational posters. The complex offered two boardwalks. The main boardwalk is a lengthy path that leads directly to the primary viewing platform. providing an excellent vantage point to observe the penguins and their colony on the beach. Alternatively, the Forest Link Boardwalk goes through the trees, offering a more intimate experience. As penguins breed on both sides of the path, visitors have ample opportunity for close-up sightings. This boardwalk also conveniently connects to the second viewing platform. Boulders Beach is named after boulders that were created by a volcanic eruption in the mainland 540 million years ago. In 1982, two pairs of African penguins discovered refuge among the beach's ancient boulders. These boulders provide ideal hiding and nesting sites for the penguins. And over time, the small population of just four birds has expanded to approximately 2,200 in the recent years. African penguins are known for their monogamous nature, forming lifelong bonds with their partners. Each breeding season, which occurs from March to July, the same pairs return to the nesting sites. They create simple nests, often just a scrape on the beach or a small burrow. Typically, a pair of African penguins will lay two eggs in their nests. After a short incubation period, the chicks hatch, covered in down feathers that lack waterproofing. Within about 60 days, they develop juvenile blue-gray plumage, which is waterproof, and eventually venture into the ocean to feed and gain weight. By the time they reach four years of age, they mature and begin breeding themselves. Native to the waters of South Africa, African penguins also breed in several small islands. They are colloquially known as jackass penguins due to their donkey-like vocalizations. In the early 1800s, there were nearly 4 million African penguins. But by the early 1900s, their numbers had dwindled to about 1.5 million. The population continued to decline dramatically, reaching an estimated 150,000 by the year 2000 and further dropping to roughly 55,000 by 2010. If current trends persist, scientists predict African penguin could face extinction as early as 2026. Several factors contribute to this alarming decline. Between the 1950s and 1970s, there was a widespread practice of hunting penguin eggs, which were sold as a delicacy in the markets, severely impacting reproductive rates. Additionally, oil spills pose a significant threat as these flightless birds cannot escape toxic waters. Another critical issue is competition with commercial fishing, which depletes the ocean of essential food sources for penguins, such as pilchards and anchovies.
As of 2018, the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, classified African penguins as an endangered species. In 2015, the Dyer Conservation Trust in Hansabai established the African Penguin and Seabird Sanctuary to support efforts aimed at improving the penguin population. It is crucial for us as humans to recognize our responsibility in protecting the species that are facing extinction due to human actions. We must remember that this planet is home to many forms of life, not just our own. Taking steps to safeguard the African penguin and other endangered species is vital for maintaining the balance of our shared environment.